hey guys today we will continue our journey and we will check very basic validation that could be implemented in our previous program and uh, this implementation of validation would be done by either html5 or we can also make use of javascript and the purpose is to show you guys that how easily we can implement things in JSP page and it is absolutely similar to HTML page and we can implement a JavaScript code and we can also use HTML5 element if the web browser is supported. So let us get started and check these things out. In order to getting started, let us change the view of this program a little bit by adding couple of breaks. Then it should look better. Here we go first and foremost thing is that these two fields which are email and password are required fields if the user doesn't enter anything in these fields and try to hit enter let me refresh the page here we go and if the user directly click on login without entering either email or password even then the form will submit so these two fields are required the easiest way to make fields required under html5 now friends whenever we make use of html5 the web browser needs to support html5 in order to get things working so in here we can type in required and our work would be done there is some kind of weird warning in here which should not be displayed in fact here we go so now if i click on login then the web browser will give us a warning this is a required field now one validation we are able to handle the validation is that now email address and password both are required fields now friends if i execute the program again and for example i type in test and password maybe any password and click on login then also the form will submit even though we are asking email for it so in order to validate a proper email the quickest way it is again provided by html5 in a very simple and easiest manner we can type in type as email and if we do so and execute the program and then for example we type in test and some weird password and click on login then it will say you must enter a valid email address so these are couple of very important controls provided by html5 and things becomes very easy when we use html5 likewise for example if we want to restrict that the minimum size of the password must be for example 8 and the maximum size could be for example 10 then even that could be implemented now friends when it comes to min size and max size we can tell html5 that the max size is 8 or maybe the max size is 10 and don't allow user to enter any more character after the 10 character but there is no such control for min character so let me show you how to implement the max character for doing so we will use max length property and we will pass the length the length could be like 10 characters and now if i execute the program then we won't be able to enter password more than 10 characters so maybe abc at abc.com any dummy email and the password would be one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and after zero now i'm trying to type and add more character but the web browser is not allowing me to add more characters so this is how we can implement a restriction on max character now this is all about adding controls of html5 now we will also check how we can add a script or in other words a java script in this particular form i hope i was clear and the lecture was easy to understand hoping to see you guys soon thanks for watching and have a nice day